So what is your thought about the legal fireworks by Elon Musk to fight Zuckerberg over plagiarism and copyright? What, what do you think is, this is all about? Is that something real here? I know you're not a lawyer. Or is this just uh, executives, billionaires fighting? What do you say? It's, it's billionaires fighting. You know, um, the first rule we have in startups is you do not sue anybody when it comes to, okay, what's, something's up with the audio. The first rule we have, right, in software is you do not, you know, you can't sue anybody for software infringement, really. I mean, you can, but you don't do it. Software is the easiest thing to copy. In fact, we're in a world now where most likely copying software is going to happen. If you have an idea, you don't want to most likely people most will likely copy your idea before you get the product out the door. Um, um, sorry, I think there's something sorry, going on. So. Yeah, I think it maybe it's your, it's your, uh, uh, your clubhouse stuff, right? If, if I, I'm, on, I'm muted on Clubhouse now. Okay, that's right. I think that is better so that they can hear you direct from my own phone. Go ahead. Okay. So, you know, suing people for, suing people for, for infringement on software is, is, is such a bad idea. In fact, most likely we could go to 50 features that Twitter itself copied from other people. So this is one of those things where <laughs> Elon at his typical thing, which is to knee-jerk reaction, make a decision that is crash. It, it's not going to work. The best thing to do is to fix the product. You know, he fired 80% 80 of his staff, and they stopped innovating on product. And I think the best thing they can do for Twitter, it is still a great product. Twitter is an amazing product that lots of people love. They should just double down on fixing the product and innovating. And they, they can forget about Facebook. Facebook will do what it needs to do. For me, Elon is one of those geniuses where he's been incredible on the hardware. If he just focuses on what he knows best, which is focused on product, and forget all the politics and you know meanness that's out there. Just focus on product, and everything will be fine with Twitter. I just wish he would focus on product. All right. So you just think that, uh, well, I don't blame the man when they uh, bring out a competitor that racks up 40 million in less than 24 hours. You got to be worried because uh, LinkedIn took one year to get to 1 million. Sure. Instagram took two and a half months to get to 1 million. Even Chat GPT that all of us are uh, shouting about took five days to get to 1 million. And threads got to 40 million in another 24 hours. But the but, man but, had the right to be worried. Yes. People say that, right? But this is the thing about stats, right? I think a lot of people pretend and lie. Here, let, let, me, let me explain my, 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 my case. Number okay. one, OpenAI was actually working for seven years before they got to chat. So I would argue it took them seven years to get <laughs> to a million. Facebook is a 20-year-old company that has built lots of platforms. In fact, how did they get to, a mil to 40 million in 24 hours? They did it because they could leverage Instagram, they could leverage Facebook, they could leverage WhatsApp, right? They're leveraging all of these platforms to create an onboarding experience that's almost a one-click experience. Most founders, you, you, you can dream of doing the same thing, but unless you have a base, you couldn't do the same thing. So to me, it's easy to describe them as 40 million in a day. But I think it's 20 years in the making, and they're just leveraging their platform. That's what they're doing. All that one I told you, uh, Lincoln, they it's don't the I know uh, from, uh, from the tech point of view, it's all about bragging rights, but I hear you 100%. But uh, does uh, Twitter have something to worry about? 100%. I mean, Twitter's biggest issue to worry about is what Zuckerberg knows well is advertising, right? And... Mm. Taking this platform, this this model, right? Lots of people have been doing this now. Mastodon is out there. Post News, uh, Artifact from the founders of, um, of of Instagram, in fact, Mike Krieger, and uh, it's it's funny, right? Artifact. If you go take a look at that product, it's kind of a Twitter competitor built by the guys who built Instagram. Now Facebook has gone and built Thread. That's basically a copy of that because those guys left the company. So, you know, to me. This is all people seeing an opportunity in Twitter's lack of focus, right? As Twitter really, even before Elon took over Twitter, 
Twitter did not really have velocity. And so what people have seen for a while is this opportunity to go take over part of their, their ad revenue. And now he's left a little bit of an opening. When you fire these many people on your team, what you do is you leave yourself open. Where the product isn't moving fast enough. So I think if he just focuses on what he needs to do, Twitter will be fine. I just I think right now it's just they're being distracted. If they focus and double down, Twitter will be fine. All right.